Today is all going to be about improving the footwork in your downswing, a vital part to improve consistency of contact, of strike. And I'm going to share with you two amazing exercises. All you need is a wedge to be able to do this. Make sure you check out this video. So I certainly can't hit them much better than that. That was showing you the first exercise we're gonna be talking about today. And as I mentioned, all we need is whatever club you wanna hit and a wedge that you can put underneath that trail foot for the first exercise. And this is all to do with improving the leg work in your goal swing. What I was trying to get the sensation of there was allowing the club to drop, but drop at the right time. So if you're someone who gets this trail heel coming up early and the pressure pushing forwards towards the toes, the likelihood is you're going to lose posture. You're going to early extend. The hips are going to go forwards towards the ball and then the spine angle ends up straightening. That has some real detrimental effects on the quality of contact. So what we're looking to try and achieve at the start of the downswing is we want to, yes, push some pressure into my lead foot as I start my downswing. So the pressure is moving forwards, but you can see my trail heel is staying down early. And then I want it to drop as the foot rolls inwards. So it's very different from this movement that we see as a fault. We're trying to get this sensation of the right foot rolling inwards. And I want to try and get the club to drop, but to drop nearer impact. So when I get to the golf ball, I want to feel or hear the club drop towards the ground as I'm getting to about the golf ball, rather than trying to drop here as my foot and backside are pushing inwards towards the golf ball. So we need that pressure going to our lead side, but in the first movement, if you're struggling with your footwork, try and be a bit more stable. Feel like you can keep that trail foot down to around halfway down, and then it's rolling inwards. Let me go ahead and hit another one doing that. I also like this exercise actually a little bit for the backswing. So I was just trying to feel like I did create some pressure into this wedge on my backswing to really mean I loaded my backswing. I got this pressure into my trail foot at the top of the golf swing. So I'm trying to feel like I push down on it here. I keep it down. So although my pressure is going to my lead side, I keep this foot down and it's dropping, but dropping at the right moment. Okay, left that one a little bit right to target, but again, good contact, good distance. The club dropped to the ground, but it dropped by the time I was getting to about impact. So if you are struggling with early extension, losing your posture in the downswing, do check out that trail heel. If you've got this sort of movement where the trail hits coming up early, the pressure going to the toes, maybe you hit shots and you feel like you fall forwards towards the golf ball, this is gonna be an amazing exercise for you just to try and get that sensation that the trail heel is staying down in that first movement before it starts to roll. What we don't want is that instability of our feet all over the show moving, hips moving forwards, losing posture. The second way we're gonna use this golf club is we're gonna use this wedge as a wedge. It's gonna feel like it is almost like a doorstop. I'm gonna put it under my foot, but you can see here, I've actually got the club down towards the ground, so the face to the ground, and I'm going to rest my foot against it. So I've almost got my foot turned inwards. I'm feeling like the pressure is now on the inside of my trail foot. So I'm almost using it like a runner's block, but instead of the block that way pushing me forwards, it's gonna go under the outside edge of my trail foot, meaning that my knee and my foot feels like it's rolled inwards towards my left. And I'm just trying to get that sensation now that I'm pushing my trail foot and my trail knee towards my lead side through impact. What my lead side is gonna do is get out of the way. It's gonna extend and rotate. I don't want to push with this trail foot and maintain a lot of flex in this lead knee because then my pressure is going to the outside edge of my foot. So as I push off my trail foot, my lead leg 
is just going to be straightening and rotating. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. <coughs> a little bit more awkward to set it up, especially with the launch monitor, so you can see the ball flight. We're going to be, I think, somewhere around there. Move that foot inwards. I'm just going to be doing a little half swing, pushing off that right side. And you can see what my left side, my lead side is doing, is extending and rotating. So it's a great idea just to start with some small swings and then build it up. So there's no reason why I can't start to then get to more of a half or three quarter motion. My trail foot, trail knee is moving in. My body is moving up. What we often see with golfers really struggling with their footwork. They're rotating to the target, but the pressure is staying backwards. We see this sort of movement where the trail heel goes backwards. And you can see I'm onto my right toe, onto my left heel, but my weight is way back. I feel it much more over my right knee. This is giving me that sensation of pushing and getting my pressure towards my lead side. So this is almost going to be the feel. I keep the foot down to around halfway down and I push off this right side, my trail foot. My lead side responds by rotating, getting out its own way. So I love this again as an exercise to improve your leg work. And I think if you can improve the leg work, you can start to expect to see some better contacts, some crisper strikes. We're just going to go for a slightly longer one. It's more like a sort of three quarter swing where I felt like <clears throat> I kept my foot applying some pressure at the start of the downswing and I pushed off it and my lead side, as I said, responds by rotating open. All you need is a wedge under that foot. Try those two exercises. It's really going to help you improve your leg work, vital for consistency of contact. If that video has helped, hit the thumbs up. Share with as many golfers as you can. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Right now, YouTube is suggesting the next video from me that you should be watching. So it's just here. Click on it and check it out at the same time.